The man you knew as Bishop lies encased in a quivering greenish mold. His limbs are twisted at odd angles, as if they are broken. His face, frozen in a grimace of pain, barely clears the surface of the wall, like the face of a drowning man gasping for air. His eyes meet yours, and you realize that all the color has drained from his hair and his flesh. One of his eyes is completely white and bulging. So you did. I made a stupid mistake. Threw in with the losing side. Gloat if you like. I would. If the tables were turned. So, no regrets? Nary a tear? That's good. Maybe you learned something from me after all. And just when I thought you changed for the better, you proved me wrong. At once, the wall shudders, convulses. The twisted figures trapped within cry out as one as the entire wall shifts. Limbs shudder, bones crack, and the greenish mold expands, covering faces, eyes, and mouths. The smirk leaves Bishop's face, replaced for one naked moment by wide-eyed fear. Can, can you hear it? In the screams. Underneath the screams. The reason you're here. They all know. They've been here longer. Decades. Centuries. The wall's hunger takes some more quickly than others. And some hold on. <laughs> Pointlessly. Staving off oblivion. Battling for every moment. <laughs> They're infected with hope. Waiting for the crusade to return. Bishop's one good eye loses focus. It seems to look through you, beyond you. The screams and cries of the other souls become quieter, as if they are suddenly listening to his words. It ended here. This wall. It hungers. It drains everything away. For a moment, Bishop's eye seems to clear. He looks at you, takes in your face, as if for the first time. You, I saw you, here, I saw you in the wall. The wall shudders again, and you hear a sickening crack as Bishop is drawn further back into the wall. Green mold rushes in to cover his face and bursts forth from his mouth in a noxious plume. He's seen you, the god of the dead. They're coming, they're coming. Great. 